right. So, we're actually getting ready to leave right now. You're about to watch an awesome subscriber ride video. Epic, everybody was amazing. Hit some hard stuff. Some wild, wild hits. Broken axles, rollovers. You're all about to see that. But before we get the video started, real quick, I wanted to tell you everything that we've updated on the machines since our 40 day trip. This is our first ride out. We've covered a little bit in previous videos of stuff that we've done, but we'll do the walk around because I like to keep you updated on parts that we're running. So in the rear, I have my brand new trailing arms on. I had those uh, warrantied from Super ATV. Five days after sending them pictures, I had Super 8 brand new trailing arms, so lifetime warranty. They didn't hassle me. I sent them pictures, they sent me new ones. I went with double shear knuckles in the back because I broke a bolt at Moab. So I fixed that issue, went with double shear knuckles. I'm running SKF uh, Napa automotive bearings in the back. Uh, I just cross referenced through them. So I have new knuckles in the rear. I got new trailing arms, new bearings. I went with an after, or not an aftermarket, a new skid plate. I went with a 19 XRS skid plate. It's the half inch. It's like the UHMW. Um, I'm not sure of the technical name, but it's like the slick stuff that um, Scott has on his. Same skid plate Scott has. I just ordered it for a 19 XRS. It also has the cover that comes out um, and protects the, the belt box. So added a new skid plate. Uh, I fixed the wheel bearing out front and I believe that's what I updated on mine. I am missing a fender. You'll see that coming up. And with Sherry's, we threw a billet case in. Because if you saw it, Moab, she destroyed the case. So we have a new billet case for Halo 30, which is actually going to be coming out. And the new diff will be going in there soon. And uh, the Halo 30 will be going into the other buggy. So that's what we got on this. Upgraded the front diff. Um, she actually warranted her trailing arms too through Super ATV yesterday. She has a new set coming. Again, no hassle. Awesome, awesome warranty. But if you can see, this is bent like that, really bad. We sent pictures. They both have a little bend, and they're sending us two brand new ones. So we'll probably fix these ones. Um, and I don't know, throw these ones on the buggy after fixing them sherry's old machine so just wanted to update you on uh newer parts that we're running skid plate trailing arms double shear knuckles but uh i got another zip tie because the bolt come out so living up to the name but i'll let you guys get into this video it's a good one we hit a lot of awesome climbs a lot of trails got pretty rough since the last time we hit them and um i'll show you a little intro right here of what you're about to see it's going to be a good time Cages, but 
we uh, we made a post that we were coming here to ride. A couple people showed up. I think we're somewhere between 20 and 40 buggies. It's a really good time. We're having a blast. Right now, we've been here oh, probably six, seven hours now just cruising around. We're on our way over to a trail we named the Squeeze, which is no longer the Squeeze because someone cut the tree down. But I actually have never been up it. Sherry and Scott did it one time when we created the trail. So I never got to hit it in its glory, but that's what we're headed now to go hit. While we're driving over to that trail, I'll let you watch a clip of me trying to climb Jeremy Slick Rock, which I'll let you watch the video. It uh, wasn't working out that well for me, but anyway, we're gonna head over to the squeeze. I'll let you watch me try and climb Jeremy Slick Rock, and then we'll see you over at the squeeze. All right, we're Jeremy Slick Rock. A couple people has already overturned on it. Uh, we just got here. Um, it looks pretty slick. Jesse's gonna give it a go. Let's see what happens. Well, I don't know. I don't know that I've ever seen it this slippery. So, That's rough. what do you got to say, buddy? <laughs> that is the slickest that I remember it ever being. Yeah, I, I, I've Usually, been... Sometimes you can get up and even stop. It's like ice. Yeah, I... You got it. This is a, this is a spot that you have to hit when it's like fresh. No one else has hit it. Right. You got first dip before it gets all slicked out. Yeah, it's... Uh, I've been coming here for a decade plus. Yeah. And I don't know that I've ever seen it this slick. Yeah, it's bad. So, Jeremy Slick Rock. I don't know that it can be done today. Who's going to try it next? Anybody? After seeing I him? I don't, you can't even get a run at it. No. You just... We are at the squeeze. Now we got to see if we can squeeze everybody in. <laughs> We'll take you up this looks pretty good looks like people have been running it which is awesome all right we're at the squeeze jesse is up he's never done it before so let's see what happens waterfall has been worse since we did it last um, but Jesse still climbed right up over it So this section, now the tree is cut down, but this section is way worse than when we did it. Um, Cause you actually have like a ledge here now, 
Let's see. Two foot, but that wasn't there before. The ground was like right here, maybe even slightly higher. Um, because me and Sherry had to climb up over this rock right here. That's still, that's still pretty tight for me. I'm gonna have to go up over that tree. Yeah, it was, it, I felt it squeezing still. Um, yeah, and this section here is way worse, way worse. So it's so it's still a good trail. Go back any further, Russ. Are you locked? Your clutch pack is wore out. She was the first one to ever climb this. Doesn't look like anything on camera, I know. But this is really eight out. That's probably a four foot vertical ledge there. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna roll it a couple times, see what I can make happen. I'll give the camera to Sherry. He's gonna stop me from rolling down over the hill if anything bad happens. <laughs>
I broke my drive shaft. Oh, this is weird. Yeah. pop up off the ground so don't land on the throttle. to capture it in film but it's uh it's a good one if you've ever seen it in person if not you should definitely come check out cherry's gearing up to hit it she was the uh og that's why we named it dirty money okay that looked good sketchy a little bit harder there it is <laughs> you're good go <laughs> she said she couldn't reach <laughs> awesome good job sherry he said he wasn't gonna do it but i think he's going to there it is nice job buddy that's awesome <laughs> Getting him out of his comfort zone. Confidence booster there. It's awesome. <laughs> okay, so this is the beginning of the Can Am Crew Crawl. It does. They they fixed the end of it. It's not washed out anymore. You can actually get to the trail really easily. We were told that it's gotten a lot worse, so we're gonna check it out we haven't hit it in what six seven months yeah. seven months i think it's a little bit more eight out down here i think i still think send it left is the line and then uh over here. from what i'm told there's another line up here that everyone takes and goes right rather than left we've always gone left yeah i can see I can see where it's, yeah, see a lot of people are trying to go this way now instead of this, and I can see why that, that big rock was never there, so you could kind of get in and go that way and then up. I see, I see. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely a lot different. Yeah, it's, it's changed. That one there wasn't, huh? I think that one was up there and it fell down. So that makes it a lot, a lot harder to get this way, but. I mean, that'd be right. You're gonna you're gonna bottom out on that every time. I don't know. I don't know the. It's gonna be rough to climb that. I think I might try to go this and then that way, and just go with the flow. Yeah. If you go this way and then kind of just bump it that way, just kind of follow it. And then the rest of the trails. It's pretty cool. Where you yeah, I don't I don't see the big rock right? anymore. It's hard to see. It looks it's changed a lot. A lot of water is washed down through it. 
Yeah, yep. Um, Scott well, uh, went back to camp and then we got separated. I'm not sure where he's at. We'll try to try to locate him, but I think we're gonna tackle this climb next. So yeah, I, I actually, I went this way before. A lot of people ended up going that way. I think I went this way and I sent it over a, a rock, which it looks like it filled in a lot from water runoff. So it's definitely a good time. It's definitely changed a lot. Yeah. It's crazy. More rock and less dirt. Yeah, I like it. I'm glad to, I'm glad to see people actually running it. Well, they said they got a ton of rain. You, you can tell all this is washed. Like this isn't from people running it. This is all runoff. This is that's like filled in. Yeah. This is probably the easier way, honestly. Now. Yeah, kind of go up, that's, up in that way. Look at that hole on that side. Yeah, this this was all kind of like a straight run. And it's all middle. yeah, it's all gone now. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, we'll see what we can make happen here. All right, Jesse's doing the Can Am crawl. driver. Come straight till you get around that and then cut driver. Send it, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's about, the only way that's about the only yeah. way you're coming up it anymore. All right, I just come up through there. It was wicked.
You want to aim for the top of that bank. bump it right before there because your tire falls in a hole that's that's the right line you just got to bump it there you go keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming. You're all right, you got up over it, nice you? job yep. all right we'll see see what line he takes here i tried like i tried a lot to come up through that spot just wasn't working That was it if you had a little bit more. get further that way all right from there you got to hit it yeah driver get caught
to go, bro. Back up. Nice job. There we go. Nice driving. It's a big hole. It's a rough spot. Nice job. Nice driving, buddy. Okay, next up is our buddy Jason in the Pro R. 35 Zillows. So we'll come down here, we'll get him coming up. Made a noise. I was thinking we were gonna hook winch up, but I think we're just gonna push it back over. Hey Jason, coast backwards a little bit. Coast back. Okay, you'll probably have to start it. Your back tire is on a rock. You just need to go back six inches and you'll come down. There you go. Alright, KRX on the waterfall crawl. C 32 Liberties. I believe it's all stock, so we'll see what happens. Roll, roll into it a little bit. Come down and hit it again. 
roll into it a little bit just keep your momentum there you go. <laughs> that is awesome oh my goodness he didn't lift not one time man wow <laughs> good job buddy <laughs> wanted to make note those are 30 inch not 32s all right guys we are on sniper ledge um and it looks like the last from the last time we were here this area here has gotten deeper there's a shot hip level on me you know two and a half at least maybe three feet it looks like it's eating out a little bit more here so you're gonna have to come up a little bit higher maybe this tree up here is the biggest issue of this um, obstacle because you have to come in and around and miss that tree because if you could shoot off this way it would make it a lot easier Jesse's up Daddy. let's see what happens he needs help with the oh all right hold on hold on let's see what happens <laughs> Hey Jesse, I don't like where this back tire is. It's not yeah, that's it. That back tire needs to move way over. Yeah. No, buddy. Nice job, Jesse. Oh, he's running a stump over. <laughs> That's how you do sniper ledge, guys. All right, Sherry's up. She says she's gonna take it on. It's a, uh, it's a nasty climb for sure. I think we'll try to get maybe a little bit different angle. We'll get up here on the corner, get a little bit of a top view. If you don't carry your momentum just right, like you either hit this tree if you come too high, or if you don't have enough momentum, your back tire falls and you flip sideways. So we'll let Sherry take it on. See what line she picks. Can you reach? Nice job. She smacked that tree. <laughs> she, <laughs> she ran over the stump too. Nice job, Sherry. That's awesome. <laughs> Alright, Tim's gonna pull up on it. He's kicking Amy out. She says she's not ride or die on this climb. Okay, Tim's pulling up. I'm gonna come down here and get a little bit different angle for you. Sherry was, Sherry was that far and she hit the tree. I understand that. Yeah. But he could turn sooner. Okay. You're, you're going to hit this rock. You got about, you, Tim, you got about five feet. You're, you're, at the part, wheel. you're at the part where you either make it or you don't make it. <laughs> Once you start moving, 
to make sure you're turned that way. Yeah. If you can't hear Scott on the camera, he's saying make sure you turn so you don't smack the tree. Kind of Sherry. Don't worry so much about hitting the tree. Definitely don't come back down. I think he's got it. Oh, wow. You're good to back up, Tim. Wow. You're good. Yeah, straight. Turn, turn past. Oh, you got a left. You got a flat. I heard, I hear a tire sissing. Turn, turn up and back it up. Back up. Yeah, back it up. All right, get it out. Okay. Got a tire to fix here. I can, I can hear it pissing. Okay, straight off, Tim. Yes. Yeah. Where are we at? Right here. Oh, that one's not too bad. No, it's not too bad. No, this slug will get that. Cool. All right. Ooh, you need you need to be this way a foot. You were you were way too far to the right. You need to hug this bank here. There you go. Nope. There, there it is. He's up it. Yeah, you moved over. Back up driver. Yep. Back up driver. Yeah. Yeah, when you when you went up to fill it out, it just slid you back over. No, no one's ever made it going straight. Maybe a Jeep. Yeah, you might have to use that left line to get you onto it. You're like underneath the rock. I don't think you're going to get it. Buddy. That's it. All right. Nice line. Okay, we got Will up. He wants to fill it out. Oh my goodness. He said he was gonna fill it out and he just went. <laughs> he said he was gonna fill it out. I missed it. back down a little. Oh. <laughs> Hey, what happened to filling it out? Yeah, I don't know. I did. It just felt too good. I missed the shit. Oh, oh man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> just a one shot. Honestly, I, I, I honestly, I was going to fill it out. And then Jesse got on my head. Like, he's like, oh, I'm going to have to back up. And then, I'm, oh, that's going to take too much time. I'm, it just hit right. it. I stayed in that's it. That's awesome. Good job. Woo. Yes, I am, Jesse. Right. You talked me into it. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, Al. If it feels good when your line's straight the first time, <laughs> stay <laughs> in it. <laughs> hey, 30 Liberties made it up. <laughs> yeah. 32 Zillas. There you go. You get it. Ah. What was that? Oh, wow. wow. Get up that. <laughs> How did you even make it? Come out. Come out. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. <laughs> he's he's all hopped up now. Hey. <laughs> Scott, did anyone see how he actually made it up? He hit the tree. <laughs> he hit the tree. That's right. right 
That's what you do. He hit the tree as he was rolling, which bounced his back wheel back into it. I started coming up, I said, no! No! Uh, I'm coming, I'm over this! Nice. That is... What did you think? Where was I even at? I don't even know. Nuts. I used that tree some... <laughs> all right. Oh my goodness. That was wild. Tim's going to pull back up on it. He got his uh, flat fixed. He wants to try it again. A little bit of redemption. I would, I would come back more. Oh my goodness. I got I got destroyed. I was hiding behind this tree. I got hit so bad. What happened? I wasn't watching. I was hiding behind a tree. I saw it too. When he first did it, I thought maybe it was like rock for debris or something. That's why I told you to shut it off because I thought maybe he did what Klein did. Something happened. He spun his you think he spun his drive shaft? Yeah. He didn't hit his front end though. He landed on the rear end, not the front end. Wow, he almost made it. In We're not sure what happened. You do not have a rear drive shaft. It is MIA. All I see is a yoke. I got peppered yeah, so right. bad. I mean, one hit you, ha you were up. Uh, Dang. Man, the drop shaft's missing on the rear. Holy cow, it's twisted. Yeah, I can see it's twisted off. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. All right, we're going to give a flip back over. Coop. You have little arms. Reach in there and grab that yoke. Might be easier from the other side, actually. We'll just uh, take it. Take it. Yeah. Can you see the part on the transmission? Yeah. There she be. Got it. Yeah. So. Our buddy Klein, his when his broke, this like whipped around and it cut all his coolant lines. That was on no business. Yeah, on no business. There you go. That's a wall hanger. I said, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll fix it. I'll I'll I weld you a good one. Said, we'll just take both pieces with us. And... Yeah. Yeah. We'll weld it. Say if Tim was with me, he's got three in the trailer. Yeah. As long as long as your front diff isn't locked, you're good. Yeah. Hit us with an outro for this ride. What can I say? <laughs> Um, we had a pretty good turnout. Oh, it was amazing. Um, we hit a lot of the good trails. Uh, the can Crew Crawl, Sniper. We hit them all, didn't we? I don't think The Squeeze. One. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure we covered the entire park. We didn't, we didn't do all the trails, but we hit all yeah. the, all the big stuff yep. here. Um, what can I say about the subscribers? <laughs> um, excellent turnout yeah um every time we have one of these it just i don't know it just makes me feel really good to yeah. see how many people come out here it is it's amazing to to meet the folks that watch and, and support the channel 
without you guys, none of this none of this would would be what it is right now. So huge thanks to you guys. Everyone that we rode with was amazing. Um, it's it's nice to see someone that might not be 100% confident in hitting something, and then like maybe we help them or guide them or tell them what we would do or not do. And then they just hit it, and, and then they make it, and, they and like make it. the smiles on their face. Oh, it's priceless! Just, yeah, it's it's, it's awesome. priceless. So we're headed out of here. We have some more rides coming up. We're actually headed to Hatfield McCoy. Unfortunately, Scott's going to be busy with work, so he won't be able to make this weekend. But this will be, man, this will be the first ride you haven't yeah. made. Well. Honestly, it's the 40 days that I took off. I'm still trying to catch up. <laughs> he's, he's playing catch up right now. So um, he'll miss he'll miss one weekend of some Hatfield riding that we have coming up. So stick around for that. I think you guys are going to enjoy that. And then we're thinking maybe another trip a week or two after that, which will be back to normal. Hopefully you'll be caught back up. Uh, yeah, I should be. I, I have to be. <laughs> <laughs> we're still trying to recover from the trip. We just want to go back. Um, I think that's it. Huge thanks to our channel members, patrons, sponsors up on the screen. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Ben Franklin Range. I was just going to say, you know, big shout out to them too. Yeah. They supplied hot dogs. Yeah, they did. Um, um, Steve, chips. Steve was still in motorsports. Hooked a generator up. And yep. Hooked hot dogs. We had chips. Ben Franklin Range for allowing us to do the subscriber ride here. Um, if you've never been here, definitely put it on your list. It's, it's worth it. The ride it's worth the travel uh, we're working with them to try to do we're gonna make some new trails so that'll be coming up in the future we're trying to do some events here um, maybe something for Halloween coming up what else um, maybe longer weekends maybe Friday Saturday and Sunday so the people that live further away it's worth the drive for you and we had we had Matt from um, Vermont. Vermont. We had people from Virginia, Ohio, New York. New York. So, um, and, this place is amazing. And, I mean, every one of those people said the same thing. Yeah. This park is awesome. It is. I've it's, said this it time has, and time again. For Pennsylvania, it has the the most, like, widest variety of trails. It has the easy, mm -hmm. it has the medium, it has the climbs. There's hills here that are insanely steep that we haven't even hit. The rock crawling is amazing. The There's obstacles. Awesome. So, dry camping if you want to camp. So, it's a huge area. I mean, there's, it's and a huge one, field. This, this is, is a, only one of, I think, five places to actually park. Yeah, so, the, I mean, you can see, I, it's it's every bit of a couple hundred yards. Oh, yeah. Maybe. It's a quarter mile at least. Yeah. Right, this, this is the biggest place yeah. here. There's an upper parking lot up top. There's a lower parking lot down here they use for camping. He's, he's getting it he or she i'm not sure um but but yeah there's 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 plenty of camping you're not gonna you won't have an issue finding camping you can put, pretty much go anywhere it's dry camping there is a campground right up the road that you have full hookups at it's called bear ridge um you could always go there i believe it's street legal i, I think the road is open or they just don't care yeah it's it's I'm a not sure it's a back road in the middle of nowhere yeah and i don't think and it's only like a mile or two i yes. think so so I don't, I don't think anybody will bother you there. You can always check with the owners there and, and see if they've ever had any issues. But, but we're getting ready to head home. It's Sunday early afternoon. So um, watch for the next video. A couple days you'll be seeing something else. And uh, anything else before we sign off? I just, I just want to thank all the subscribers. Huge thanks to all yes. the subscribers, yeah. Because it's said all the time, but yeah. it's because of you and guys that we can continue to do this. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. We'll see you on the next one.